Its move. Very tempting, shaded by Juicing Carrots. A length and a half, Solar Sky. Back in the field with Come Play With Me, given a taste of the Persuader to get his mind on the job. He's tending to lose ground, though, from Buster's Shadow. Douches, Achitsky and Liberty rise as they come around the corner. Thunderclap Newman, the first to see the judge over Kalur Bazaar. Star value, not again. Ken Awesome as very tempting and Juicing Carrots. Further back, Solar Sky. Thunderclap Newman tackled by not again, Ken. It's not again, Ken, ranging up. He hit the front, kicked a length and a half to star value. Thunderclap Newman, juicing carrots, but the grey, not again, Ken. He's established a race-winning lead, and once again, Glenn Smith has done it again. He's won six races in his career, not again, Ken. G. Smith in the saddle every time beat juicing carrots, star value, solar sky. And close up, very tempting, Kalur Bazaar, Liberty Rise, Buster Shadow, come play with me, Douche Zachitsky. Thunderclap Newman really stopped very quickly after leading for home, and awesome as who got the run of the race, in fact, is one of the last of them in. There are some horses that just go for certain jockeys, and Glenn Smith is that to Not Again Ken. Not Again Ken has now won six out of 30, and uh, it has been G.A. Smith in the saddle on every single occasion. He gave the grey a perfect trip all the way at the 1280 and 360, and uh, he certainly settled a little better today than in comparison to his last start. He beats Juicing Carrot, Star Value, and Solar Sky will be fourth home from Kalur Bazaar in 151.99. Not again, Ken. By Quavassier from Shiny Row, trained by Mark Wright for Miss C. Wright, Mark Wright, and Mrs. J. Bolwell, also Kelvin Gordon, R, and Mrs. V. McDonald. Glennie Smith in the saddle, and I reckon Gareth's down there with Mark right after the victory, and he's got the right man to do the job for him, Glennie Smith. Paul, if joins us as well here, Mark, congratulations. That was a big effort by not again Ken, and when G Smith jumps aboard, I think you just get on the grey. Well, I think it's a combination of Glenn, combination of the distance. You know, he's gradually going through his stages, just trying to get him back up there. He's, he's a horse that needs those few warm-up runs to get him going. Um, look, Glenn knows the horse inside and out. He's done a beautiful job every time he's hopped on. Um, so you really just can't, can't fault him. Were you expecting that today by the big grey? I, I was expecting him to win. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to, to win by quite that much. I thought it would be a, a half-head sort of win, not a, not a big one. And when he wins like that and he gets into his rhythm, boy, oh, boy, he's a hard horse to stop. Yeah, oh, look, I mean, the last race, I mean, he should have done a lot better in that, but the, the stop start, and I mean, if you read the stewards' report, it's pretty obvious that he was in a, in a hell of a tangle all the way through the race. So, you know, we, we're quite happy with this one. When do we see him next now after that performance? Oh, that's going to have a chat with the owners about which way we go now. Job well done, Mark. Thank you very much. Here we go, Mark Wright, the winning trainer there with Not Again Ken. And Matty is a horse that just needs to get into his rhythm and clear galloping room and just work um, into his... Uh, work into his rhythm and obviously he did that today and away he went that was a devastating victory defeating juicy carrots who was brave at a bit of a price star value third sold the sky fourth and i don't know about that favorite or one of the favorites come play with me just doesn't like ascot hits that flat spot and was in a, a trouble a long way from home certainly was i hope the horse has pulled up okay because it was gone a long way out and looked to be under pressure not soon after the jump, really, for mine, but this is all about the winner, Ken and Glenn. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, not again. Ken wins again, and as Darren McCauley pointed out, all of his victories are under Glenn Smith. He's a great rider, Glenn Smith. He's been a great rider here in WA for so many years, and when he jumps aboard and they're ready to win, rarely does he let the punters or connections down, and some happy connections there. He's a lovely horse, a lovely... Big stride in grey, not again can, and he wins and wins well to take out the last at a good price as well. Juicing carrots, wasn't that a run? Daniel Stake aboard, Wes Cameron tipped it out at a bit of a price this morning and it was a big effort and as we pointed out, star value rising up in trip was as brave as ever to finish at third. But Glenn Smith just adding saddling now, the big fella, not again can. In just a moment, he'll jump aboard those scales. Mr. Lewis hopefully will give the all clear. And then Glenn Smith, the boy from Bunbury, the number one Collingwood supporter in WA. That's what he says anyway. We'll be catching up with Maddie Kelly. Maddie? Yeah, sensational ride here from Glenn Smith. Uh, gave this horse every chance from Barry number three. I'll tell you what, if you've got the quad, you'd be blowing kisses at the TV at Glenn Smith at the moment. With proper antis earlier in the day at a decent price. And now not again, Kenneth double figures. Of course, uh, state solicitor was odds on 
But a bit of value about Art Series as well. We're talking not again, Ken. Glenn Smith jumps aboard this boy again. A nice win. What is it when you jump on this boy's back? You, you, you talk to him, he knows it's you, and he goes out and wins. Yeah, well, I don't really know. To be honest, I'm the only one that's won on him so far. He's won six and today and won all six. But, yeah, I don't know. Just um, Mark said he was right today. And you look at his previous runs, they weren't disgraceful. I thought he pulled probably a little bit too hard the other day. So I just wanted to get him into a nice, nice rhythm. We got pushed to the fence early. And I didn't want him to be there because his best win was at Pinjarra when he was three deep, no cover, and he won by six. So... I just popped out at the 1400 when I could, and then, um, yeah, so once, once we got the 600, I could get out rolling when we wanted to. One of the stars in the saddle here in Perth. We're seven days out from the Masters. Always get, good to get a win in the last on Champion Phillies Day. Always good, mate, but it's hard getting rides. I, uh, my uh, manager's Ryan Pitts, if anyone wants to give us a buzz. But, yeah, no, it's hard getting rides at the moment. My weight's been a bit, bit up there, but, um, yeah, no, it's good to be in form. Peach of a ride here. Nice win. Well, well done. No worries, thanks. Glenn Smith there, not again, Ken. Too good for his rivals in the last event here. And the, as you mentioned, juice and carrots in for second and star value, pretty admirable as well. And if you're looking for a rider during the Tab Touch Masters, you can go with Glenn Smith because he is a man that can ride. There's no doubt about that. And he proved that with not again, Ken. It was a terrific day's racing. There were plenty of highlights, proper antis, causing the upset for Colin Webbs to take out the RJ Peters. Now, it's not nominated for the railway stakes. And I don't think Colin, after that interview, when we caught up with him, will pay that $20,000 late nomination fee. Other highlights, I think State Solicitor, that was a mighty effort to get out of that trouble under Willie Pike, pick himself up and defeat some class sprinters here in the West. Absolutely. We see a lot of the Eastern States horses arrive early next week and we'll get our first look at them and a bit of track work and then those that are here for the railway on Saturday. I can't wait for it. The best of the West against the best of the East. It's going to be unbelievable. And then, as you said, State Solicitor a week later in the winter bottom going to be flying the flag for the racing fans out here. Yeah, in, in I Perth. think he's second favourite with Tab Touch State Solicitor behind the Cadolphin horse in impending. And the Champions Philly Stakes, that was a great race. Mickey Moto was the short prize favourite. I think she got into a little bit of trouble having a look at that replay and uh, she's got a few bruises and scratches I think after the race according to Bob Peters but the winner was so brave because she had no luck art series and private dance it was a great effort now art series will push on towards the guineas and then we'll get a report on a few of those other fillies including Sophia's secret who was scratched at the start she didn't want to play game basically today and didn't load so more news out of that race but it's a great day Matty and can't wait for next week the first of three $1 million races on three consecutive Saturdays, and it's the railway stakes, and can our boy Scales of Justice make it back to back? It'd be good, wouldn't it? I think you'll uh, be cherry ripe. It's been a bit of an interrupted campaign following a trip down to Melbourne. We didn't see the best of him last Saturday, but I think we will in seven days' time, and it's going to be fantastic railway, no doubt about it. I'll catch you again on Wednesday. The barrier draw live on Sky Racing for the railway stakes will be shown on Sky Thoroughbred Central on Tuesday evening at 7.30 in the Eastern States, 4.30 locally, I'll host that. Can't wait for that. And then the first of the big ones, the first of the three $1 million races, the railway stakes here on Saturday. Greg Bradley's coming to town, so the big guns will be arriving in Perth as well. Hopefully you back plenty of winners. On behalf of Matty Kelly and I, it's goodbye for now, and we'll catch you again from Ascot on Wednesday afternoon on Sky Thoroughbred Central. Thanks, guys. Cheers.